blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day i hope all is well well happy new year we're in 2021 i am excited um about this year um i and i think when i did 2020 video i was excited then um and i, I just wanted to come on really quick i want to uh, just express my gratitude um, for all the people who've subscribed to the channel um, or just all the people who've just watched um, and, and just rocked with me. Um, whether it be last year, the year before, um, uh, we're going on two years in March of this channel and I'm just so grateful for God, to God for all of you. Um, and all the things that God is doing. I hope you guys are getting something out of this channel. I hope it's blessing you um, and, and helping your growth in your relationship with God. If You know, I, I don't want to do it just to, to get the likes or the views. I want to make sure that it's impacting your life and that you're getting something, whether um, you got something from one video or you've gotten something from every video. Um, it's my hope that you guys are being blessed. Um, and God is doing something in you um, through these videos. Um, so I, I wanted to recap 2021. Um, I mean, 2020. And more so for me so that, you know, I, I don't forget. When you, you know, when I, I think about 2020, so many things happen. I I started to think like, you know, you, you're bombarded by everything that's happening with the pandemic. Have experiencing family members passing away because of it. It's hard to forget the, the, the it, it can be easy to forget the wins. Um, and, and the lightness, the, the sun is, is out bright. So, um, but it, it's easy to forget the winds, but I, I wanted to come on and share this. I made a video back in August, but I never posted it. Um, and the Lord brought it to my attention that, you know, it was a video just talking about how God was doing so many great things um, for me um, up until that point. And, and I, I, I just, I, I don't know why I didn't post it. I should have posted it, but I'll share here all of the great things that God, is, God was doing or all the things that has uh, occurred in 2020. Um, so, man, God, I, God told me in 2020 um, to write out some things um, that I wanted for the channel um, as far as like camera, equipment. He had me list. He said, listen, I want you to detail everything that you want for this channel. Um, and then he he put in my heart to start a podcast. Um, and he said, write down everything you need. I want you to put, so literally I wrote everything out, went to go and search how much this stuff will cost um, and began to put the prices down on everything. In August, God literally made a way for so many people to sew into me. Um, I never asked for money on this channel. I, I'm not doing this for money. I do it because I love God and God told me to do it. And so I, I don't ask you guys for money because God has not told me to do it. And, and so I, I won't ask you guys for money. Um, I, yeah, we ain't doing that right now. Um, we, yeah, we're not doing that. So um, God made a way for people to just like bless me on my birthday. Just so into me. And man, just like it was just crazy. It was one of the best birthday birthdays I ever had. Not just because people were giving but people were just, man, sending me these these heartfelt messages and just doing like, man, like, you know, sometimes you we go through life and you, you just want to, you know, see how you impact people and to see how God has used me to impact people. is just amazing. And so in August, literally everything on my list I got and it was cheaper than the prices that I put on the page. And so I began to go back and reflect like, man, God, like. This is amazing. And so then years and years ago, um, so so that was the one thing, the business. I have been writing since I lived in Texas, since I've been in Texas, um, even in college, I always wanted to renovate flip homes. Like I, that, that was something I always wanted to do. And so I would write it out in, in my book. And, and this is why I say journaling, writing out, your vision, writing out, you know, what's in your heart is so important. So I began to write out all these things, like I'm my own businesses, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do, and and not just me, like family businesses. I am, I've, the older I've gotten, I've, I've 
started to appreciate my family so much more um i can do so many great things but i know that we can do great things together and i know that i i can't do everything that i need them because they have specific gifts and talents that i don't have that i'm going to need in business so um i i began to write it out write it out all the things and and and, and i want to say maybe like 2014 just remember writing it out going back reading it like okay and then God challenged me to put the how. Don't just write out you wanna own businesses. You be very detailed, but put the how. And when it came to the how, I'm telling you, I really didn't know how it was gonna happen. Like, okay, God. And so in 2020, I started the business, the, the, the house flipping business. And man, it, I never, you know, you write these things down, but when it manifests, it's like, man, God, everything that you told me to write down on this paper is coming to pass. And so I don't know why I didn't post the video, but I'm posting it now. Um, and just telling you that you can trust and believe God. Things that you may not think is going to come to pass. I put into 2014 and uh, I wish I brought my book. I should have brought it. 2014 um, that I want to be. A, a business owner that I want to, you know, homes that I want to buy and sell homes. I want to renovate them, buy, sell, um, and apartments. I put all these things in, in, uh, in my notebook and numerous notebooks, not just one couple of notebooks. And here we are 2020. Well, 2020 God brings that to pass. And so I say all that to say, is when you trust God, I, I didn't know how it was going to happen. All I had to do was believe that God equipped me to do it. He put this vision, he put this desire, he put this urge in me to want to do it. And it came to pass. So equipment for the channel, everything I need. I'm talking about nice camera, lights, backdrops, things that I need to just, or that I, I want it. I don't even want to say necessarily need because I just, I record from my phone a lot of times, but um, things that I desire to make the channel uh, more presented, you know, make it a little more fancy. And so he got me that. Um, so moving into 2021, I'm believing God for a lot of things. I'm believing God. Um, <laughs> came my, I'm believing God, you know, a spouse, husband, marriage. I'm, I'm believing God for that. Though That's in my book. And I believe that it's going to come to pass. Um, yeah, I said it. I, I ain't I ain't afraid of you, devil. I said it. So I'm believing God for that. I'm believing God for, you know, growth in him, more of him. I'm believing God to, to grow the business, um, to bless the business. I'm, I'm believing God in ministry um, with word of truth. Um, I'm, I'm believing God for so many things. And I know it's going to come to pass. It may not come to pass this year in 2021, but I know that is going to happen it, it's it's a done deal because he gave me the desire for it i wrote it down made the vision plain and he's going to bring it to pass so i don't have to wonder about the how this is going to happen i just have to be do my part god has to he got to handle the how and so i wanted to come on and share i wanted to to say guys i i'm i'm grateful for you i love you i am like when I end the videos and Jesus Christ loves you, I love you. I mean that. Like I love you guys. I am praying for you guys constantly. Um, I, I, man, I am so grateful for every subscriber, every person who's watched the video who may not have subscribed, subscribed but watches the video. I'm grateful for you all. Um, and I, I, I can't wait to see the great things God is going to do in 2021. Um, so last year I, I did a 30 days, uh, devotional and prayer, um, with God. I I'm still seeking God on what, what this year, what I, what I'm going to do. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I kind of got, God has been speaking to me about a few things, but I want to make sure this is what he wants to do. Um, and, and yeah, so it, the only thing that I'm asking you guys to do is to continue to keep me uplifted in prayer. Um, I think I know some great things. We've got the podcast coming, um, the I Need Jesus podcast, um, and that's inspired by just my need for him. Like, it ain't about 
you know other people need them it's me needing jesus um we have i have a um book club coming um i, I want to get into more reading uh more reading is fundamental so i want to get into more reading and so me and my friend are partnering to do a book club so i'm excited about that more information once everything is 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 going um I, i'm kind of putting myself to the my foot to the fire now because i'm i'm getting on here saying it but i just want to be busy for the lord i just i just i want to i want to do his will um and and making sure i'm advancing the kingdom um business more things with the houses um it's my hope that you know i'll share some some show you guys some houses that i purchase um and the renovation process just so many things um on the channel um yeah so I, I wanted to come on and share that happy new year people i'm i'm believing god for great things um for you oh oh i was in prayer and the lord began to i i asked him you know what what's next and he he said it's the, it, the time of the possession um i believe that we're moving that this year we're we as kingdom citizens will begin to possess what belongs to us um now does that mean adversity and 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 things won't come against us of course you know when when joshua and caleb went into um into the land of canaan to possess it there were giants in the land um there you know it, that was their adversity and they had to defeat them you know and so there may be some things that may come against us in this year but God has strengthened us, has equipped us and given us the ability through his Holy Spirit living in us, through what Jesus has done. Um, he has given us an ability far beyond our ability that we can defeat whatever the enemy brings our way. And so know that as you begin to possess the things that God has for you, know that you are equipped to do it. So I wanted to just come on and share this. Um, I, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. I pray that you be blessed, that you be strengthened in this year. I pray that uh, you grow deeper. If, if anything, uh, I pray that you you grow deeper in in relationship with God and fellowship with Him and communion with Him and talking with Him and knowing Him in a way that you've never known Him before. I pray that your eyes be enlightened, uh, that you see different, your ears be open, that you hear God different, um, and and. I hear the Lord saying to me um, that there are some people that are, are watching that are unsure about if they heard God. Um, and I wanna challenge you to continue to press in. Continue to press in, meaning continue to pray. Um, and sometimes when we pray, we, we ask the same thing over and over again. You don't have to beg God, he's your father. And so you can ask him and then walk by faith and believe it and begin to thank him as if it's already done. Also, I would challenge you to get in his word. May not make sense. Continue to, to get in his word and ask him about it. God, what does this mean? What are you saying here? Why did you do this? What, what? You can ask God questions. And as you begin to learn more about his characteristics, his nature, um, you'll grow in relationship with him. And that voice that you hear that you're uncertain if it's him, It'll begin to get more clearer and you'll know, oh, that's God. That that ain't, we have to understand. And, and another thing, but last thing, I promise. I was, I was sitting in bed and, and, and a thought came to me and I thought it was me. And the Lord said, no, that's not your, you have to know when it's you, when it's Satan and when it's me. Satan has the ability to try to feed our thoughts. Um, and sometimes he'll he'll say things and man, like he'll say something crazy and I think it's me. No, I'm not an evil person to think something crazy like that. That's you. And so we, as we began to press in to the things of God, his voice, we want his voice to be amplified. We want to hear his voice more clearer than any voice. So then when the voice of the stranger comes along, we can identify and go and look at it like, no that that ain't me that ain't god that's satan i'm gonna cast that thing down i'm i'm not gonna listen to that and so i wanted to come on and share that listen 
If you are struggling to know if you're hearing God, continue to press in, continue to seek him. Don't move. Don't don't move. If you're struggling to hear him, you you got to when I'm struggling, when we're struggling, let's go natural. When we're struggling to hear, what do we have to do? We have to focus. We got to, sometimes you got to, you got to cut down all the other noise. Sometimes you got to, I got to cut off the TV. If I'm struggling to hear, my mother call me, I got to, I'm going to cut off the TV. Cause I, and then I got to focus. Okay. Well, somebody just calling. We got to focus pressing in. That's, i am got to focus on him. I got to get in his word. I got to pray. I got to cut off all the other things that are keeping me distracted from hearing his voice and so that may be one of the things you need to do you may have to cut off the facebook the social the the instagram you may have to cut off the text messages you may got to spend some time with just you and god so that you can hear him clearly i said i was done so i'm done i promise all right so i love you guys most importantly jesus christ loves you have a great day bye guys